contacted the freighter in. Was lucky it wasn't destroyed when it drifted into the asteroid field. Not much on board. One damaged droid, one annoying protocol droid, and a lot of bodies. Sent the survivor to medical, the others to the morgue. Didn't recognize the ship's ID code, so we transmitted it to the Republic for some answers. Questioned the protocol droid about what happened. Says his master, survivor, I guess, was on the Republic ship, the Harbinger, when it suffered an engine failure. He says the survivor was a passenger on the vessel and a Jedi. If so, that's gonna mean true. Inventory the bodies and cargo. Everything matches the protocol droid's story. The T3 droid had seized up, so we left it in storage and standby mode. Don't know what code will access it. It could be its voice activated for all we know. We put the protocol droid to work in maintenance, sorting the mining droid comm routines and updating the recognition sensors. Man, to shut him up. When the survivor recovers, hopefully we can get him off this station before there's a... Trouble between the work shifts. Word of the Jedi leaked out and the miners aren't sure what to do with her. Korda's mining crew wanted us to collect the credits for the bounty the Exchange has on Jedi, but I put a stop to that. We're contacting Telos to get the Republic records on the Jedi, but nobody will know a word from the Republic. But I've sent out a broadcom transmission for records on this Ebon Hawk. One of the miners said it used to be a smuggling vessel. Accidents are making the miners restless. The droid behavior course must be undergoing some kind of binary decay. Two miners were drilled by a droid's mining laser, and those blasts in the ventilation tunnels nearly caused the whole facility to blow. 